It was the trip of a lifetime for a small group of Washington, D.C. public school students and teachers, including James Debonair. He was uh, selected as one of the teachers to take a student from his school uh, through National Geographic's program to the Channel Islands off the coast of California. Jalen Debonair is his daughter. She was 20 years old at the time. Her mother passed away when she was a little girl. Her father was her world. What was your father like? Friendly, um, loving. He was the guy that everybody wanted to come to the family cookout or function that you were having because of the energy that he would bring. Um, lovable. James and the group were booked on United Flight 77, Washington to LA, departing 8, 10 a.m., September 11th, 2001. I got all the way up out of my bed. I remember this like it was yesterday. And I gave him a really big hug. And I just said, I'll see you later. And he said, I'll make sure I call you when I get there. But before long, the horrible news broke. The plane was hijacked and flown into the Pentagon. I didn't know how I wanted to continue with moving forward in life because the main thing, he was almost like my heart, right? So if your heart stops, there's no life. But she did move forward and has built a successful life and family of her own, though it hasn't been easy, especially on anniversaries. For me, it's reliving it every single year. 20 years from now, I'm still going to relive this day. She's dealt with her grief head on, even visiting Guantanamo Bay for a week of pretrial hearings, sitting in the same courtroom as the men accused of plotting the attack that killed her father. To look in the faces of the men who were masterminds behind this act of terrorism was an experience unlike any other. When you saw those men at Guantanamo Bay, were you angry? I wasn't angry because you know what? Anger has left my body a long time ago. I had to let that anger go because that wouldn't have created what you're sitting in front of today. Her daughter Kaylee is now aware of the attacks. Jalen talks to her about it, hoping she won't grow up in fear. And much like her father devoted his life to teaching and helping his students, Jalen now uses her experiences to help others as a motivational speaker. What I use is the preface of September 11th and how it affected my life. 20 years ago, I would have probably not been able to sit here and have a conversation with you, with you without crying every two seconds. But now I just find that my strength has been a motivational tool um, to not only help me continue to live and grow, but to help other people. And here at Ketchum Elementary School, where he taught, a resource center has been named for James Debonair and Rodney Dickens, the student he was accompanying. A way to honor the lives and legacy of teacher and student. What do you want people to remember and think of on this 20th anniversary of September 11th? I really would love for everyone to just not only honor my dad, but to honor all of those lives that are lost. But specifically this year, I'd really like to focus on those students and teachers. Students and teachers lost on that tragic day two decades ago, but not forgotten. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.